These are some of the woods on my small farm where many of the naked ladies reside. But today, we're gonna go over to a flower bed to show you the prolific greenery that starts in early March on through April. Now, the naked ladies need all the greenery to be presentable come hot summertime in Oklahoma. We had a lot of good rain, so we have a lot of good greenery, but May is coming up. About this time of year, it gets really tempting to rake those off because they come and get to look real unsightly. But our pearl of wisdom for today, do not rake them off too soon or you won't have pretty blooms in the fall come July or August, first good rain. You'll have beautiful flowers if you just persevere and have patience. Another week or two and these should die back, especially if it gets hot, so that you can rake them off and put your other flowers around and have a, a beautiful bed. It is the 9th of June and the Amaryllis belladonna or naked ladies, as we like to call them in Oklahoma, have all died down. It's time to clean out the bed. You're just going to take a rake and rake all that up and get it out of there. This is going to try to help me, I guess. That's my baby goat. Now, you don't want to let animals eat any part of this because it has a lot of poisonous characteristics. We're going to go down to the other end where they're not quite as far down, gone as that one. And we're gonna show you what those look like. Now these are not quite ready on this end to be raked out yet. They, they're still dying back just a little bit. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of time. But I'm also, they're really thick here, thicker than I need. I'm gonna dig one of those bulbs to show you what they look like. This is. This is not the time of year to plant them. You usually plant them after they flower. But I guarantee you, these bulbs are so hardy, you can plant them anytime. They're almost impossible to kill in this part of the country. I understand in colder climates, because they claim they're native from South Africa, so in colder climates, that's harder to do. But let's see what happens. Get a bulb out of here. We've got plenty. They're clustered here together. See if I can get one up to show you. You have to go deep. Remember, do not plant the bulb too deep. Just barely touch the top. And of course, in the woods, you don't need to rake off the foliage because that'll be a good mulch for it. But I like to in my flower beds and put a little colored mulch because I plant other flowers around it. Plant it this year, it may or may not bloom since the foliage has already gone back and fed the bulb again. The green foliage that I showed you earlier that comes out in the spring dies back, feeds the bulb. Then you plant the bulb and they'll grow, as you can see, in partial shade or in sun. They kind of tend to like the partial shade. That's why I always have planted mine in the woods and they do just fine because they have the before the leaves come on the trees, provided it's not an evergreen tree, then you'll get enough sun that they'll get started good, and then you'll have a pretty flower. From the first green in early spring to the beautiful flowers on tall stems in late summer, these beauties are a great favorite among gardeners. Another pearl of wisdom for today is that I hope you're not disappointed with this educational video. If you are, maybe you should get your mind out of the gutter and onto things more beautiful. Thank you for watching.